Hey, what's going on? So the second most popular name that enters my mailbag besides quarterback Zach Wilson is wide receiver Denzel Mims. Questions I get. Will Denzel Mims make the team? What is his role this year? What could his role be moving forward? All right, let's take those questions one at a time. Uh, yes, I think he'll make the team and let's explain why. Now, have we ever seen anything quite like the mysterious case of Denzel Mims? I honestly don't know if I have. Second round pick, at a Baylor in a stacked wide receiver draft class. And this wasn't a Stephen Hill draft pick, uh, not to trigger you with that name, but it's not like we said, hey, this guy's tall. He has a fast 40. He can't play, but let's take him anyway. No, Denzel Mims, good production, good tape at Baylor, good ball player as a rookie. Good ball player there as well. The guy throwing in the ball, Sam Darnold, was the 33rd ranked quarterback in the league that year. And who was calling that offense? Well, none other than probably the worst NFL head coach of the 21st century until he was unseated of that honor by Urban Meyer. That was Adam Gase. So amidst all that chaos, Denzel Mims had a solid rookie year when he was on the field, averaged 45 receiving yards per game as a rookie. So that trajectory was telling us solid wide receiver number two in the second round. Beautiful, right? Then last year, ooh, ugly. Honestly, he may have been the worst wide receiver to take the field last year in the NFL. Eight catches to five penalties, pretty hard to watch. Now, some legitimate reasons of why he was behind his teammates in the beginning of the year. Had a rough bout of COVID and then the food poisoning. I know we all laugh, oh, just a piece of fish, come on, tough it up. But no, you're you know throwing up for over a week on end and you lose 20 pounds for a guy just getting into his man body, competing with other athletes at the highest level of the world, losing 20 pounds on an already lean frame. That's a big deal. That's going to set you back quite a bit. But then end of the season, last game of the year, still getting you know pushed behind Tariq Black on the depth chart. I don't know if I could blame that on the food poisoning over the summer. Denzel Mims has to take some accountability there. And last year, the messaging from the coaching staff, lukewarm. We're ready for Denzel Mims when he's ready for us. He has to learn all three spots of the wide receiver room. Um, so not encouraging. But this offseason, much better, right? Different language from coach NJD when talking about Mimsy. And obviously, we see the transformed body looks ready to go. So although my initial uh, impressions of him as being a high-end wide receiver number two, I think those are probably gone, but he's got to be better than last year. I think he lands somewhere in the middle of his first two seasons, and that's probably wide receiver number five on this roster. That's the role I think he plays this year. So yeah, I think he makes the team. I mean, and if he's not going to make the team, do we have two wide receivers who are better than him outside of our top four? Because we have four locks to make the team. Elijah Moore, Garrett Wilson, Corey Davis, and Braxton Barrios are making the team. Other than that, I don't think we have two wide receivers better than Mims as the roster sits currently. And you might say Mims doesn't play special teams. That's fine. Braxton Berrios is an all-pro special teamer, so if you designate your wide receiver six to a special teamer as well, slide Mims in at the five, you still have two wide receivers playing special teams, and you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, I think he makes the team. I think he could be our wide receiver number five. Now, finally, the final question, what could his role be moving forward? I think ideally is that you feel good enough about Denzel Mims this year that you're willing to move on from Corey Davis's cap hit next season in 2023, and Denzel Mims could be your starting X wide receiver. And then the Jets would roll out kind of a non-traditional wide receiver core where Elijah Moore and Garrett Wilson would be your number one and two options out of the slot and the Z respectively, and then Mims would be your third receiver as the X. I like Corey Davis. Might want to hang on to him. That's a topic for another video. So yes, I think I makes, he makes the team. I think he's the wide receiver five this year and potentially could be the starting X receiver next year. Fingers crossed for Mimsy. Thank you for watching. Go Jets.